the back end of the year. Not sure what the date is. It was, it's Saturday, it was Christmas Day on Tuesday. And um, anyway, I've just put back a 17 pounder. Beautiful fish, absolutely immaculate. I keep forgetting I've got a video camera with me. I was going to do a video diary, but anyway. Uh, Keith's just come round for a chat and I've just had a 23 pound 12 ounce pike, it's my biggest of the season and I haven't caught it before, it's a new fish for me and I'm going to show you to show him to the camera, absolutely over the moon with this because I haven't really been fishing much and then we're going to put him back, put her back, she, uh, she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go see what it looks like from this side. Proper fish, 23 pounds, 12 ounces. Any bullshit. Right, Stamford Res. I'm on the dam wall, the back end of the dam wall. Pole tax free is, is its uh, new name. And I've had a fish that's just nudging 22 pounds. That's a pristine fish. £22 Stanford Res fish, another 20 bites of dust, caught on a, on a herring, pattern ostered about 15 yards out from the dam, that's all. There was a few nice ropes shown this morning so I thought I might be in with a shout. And uh, the only, only take I've had so far is midday, just one take out of the blue. Slow take, didn't fight much, but that's the result. And uh, I'm going to carry him back down to the water. And release her. Grab it. Yeah, I'll show you the video, putting it back. Mm -hmm. That water's cold, Tell. Right, don't, don't get caught this season. Is that it? That's it. Thank you very much. Push the red button. Well, it's the 2nd of February. I'm in the pole tax swim of the Stanford Res and it's bitterly bitterly cold minus three or four last night didn't think I was gonna get a take it's, it's four o'clock in, in the afternoon and I've had this 17 pounds eight ounce fish you can see he's a gorgeous fish just took a photo of him and I'll put him back lovely lovely fish another one bites of dust It's quite a long fish really, isn't it? It's a nice fish, it's not. 
that means a few commons with watches. Oh, that's a big fish, isn't it? Not carrying much in the way of spawn, are you? Now, just for the camera, it says 23 14. Slippy one. Very slippy customer. It's definitely difficult to tell. I'll tell you what, you couldn't do me a favour, stand behind the camera, stop the backlight, please. Backlight. Yeah, sometimes the camera gets through the back of the lens and knackers things up a bit. Is this all, all it needs, is it? That's it. Three fourteen. Mysterious res. Good and looking at that, isn't it? It's quite solid, isn't it? All the way yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. It's quite fat. It's not. It's not as fast as they go. Its head's not that big, really. No, it's a young fish. Yeah. So it's, like it's uh, got a funny mark. Is that mark on the tail? Should it come out again? Just on the upper lip. Beautiful fish that is. It's very short, isn't it, Clive? Yeah, very short. <laughs> and quite a few doubles. We're all, we're all having a good season, Clive and Steve. Having a good season also. I think Clive's Adam's 25, Steve's Adam's 24, so we're doing we're doing well. Up and coming water. I have had this fish before but it's still nice to catch it. But back she goes. Reservoir again. It's uh, approaching the middle of middle of May, 2008, and they're spawning like bonkers. I'll just add this one off the top. 21 and a half. It's an old fish. That Steve's had at 24. I think I've had at 23. Uh, that makes that same fish too true. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I recognise it. I do. It's, but it's, it's a long fish, isn't it? It's, it's a big fish, big frame fish, but it's. 
that melting like buggery, isn't it? It's the same one I'm thinking, I've got a picture of it with Milo. Oh yeah, it's an old fish. Yeah, an old girl, isn't it? Old boy even. rods in case someone comes down and complains. Right, I'm at Napton Res and uh, it's Friday night, uh, mid mid May uh, 2008 and uh, I've got a car up at 11 o'clock at night, whatever it is. Uh, lost one earlier on, and it's a very small cup. It's only ten pounds fourteen ounces, which I don't. I, you wouldn't normally take a photograph of or video, but this is one of the fish that was stocked this time last year, and it's the first time I've caught one of the stockies, so I'm quite chuffed about it. And anyway, I'll show you the camera. I say it's only a small car, but to a penny on a commercial water but this could be one for the future and it's an Apton carp at the end of the day so here we go £10.14 ounces and it was caught um, I lost one against the reeds earlier this one was actually caught in open water on a big bed of um, pigeon feed um, I was using a, a 14 millimeter strawberry rose boy uh, st strawberry mistral boilie and uh, anyway Quite a chunky little fish. It's a Simmons fish, so they should grow quite big. They're ever so, ever so fat. Right. Back she goes. Go on then, Dave. Okay. Say whatever you want, Clive. Tw Twenty-one pound two ounce Napton carp. Mm -hmm. cool. Sort of end of end of May time, isn't it? Yeah. From the blue line. <laughs> it's a blue lion fish. This is a purebred Napton fish. Lovely fish. I've had it a couple of times before. It's, it's, it's at a low weight, I think it's spawned out. It's still a nice fish. It weren't quite as big as my first one from here. Lovely carp there, that is. Put it back in mix swim. I'm going to walk down with me. We'll catch it. So I don't want to go house have a tip. Keep going, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> Stay there all day, Tom. Reckon as long as you get yours in. We could have had it in by now. I've shot my tail. Do you reckon I've done the right thing, Clyde? Yeah. I was just, I've just, I've just tying up a hook rig there with, with these uh, little plastic casters. They're deadly. They are. You don't need to put casters out. You just put them on on a hair. Use it on a little short rig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's cheating. <laughs> a bit of weed round it. You're going to net it, Dave? How big is it, Dave? Twenty-two seven. Twenty-two seven.
I don't want no swear in there, Dave. I ain't got a bleeper on this. Yeah, I can't see it. Eh? Got it, Dave. Oh, that's nice. Is it a nice fish, Dave? Yeah, maybe a load for any. I think you're getting 21, 22, 7, isn't it? I've had it before, strangely enough, I already recognise it. Old friend. Yeah, they're all old friends. It's got a bulging eye, it's that, but 19. Yeah. It's, it's strange, you know, you look at these videos, these really big cups, they don't actually take any longer to get in than the little ones, do they? You know, like these 40s and 50s. It's just a different type of pipe, isn't it? It's um, 6.30 on a Sunday morning in uh, late August. I've had a phone call from Mr. Clive Good, and uh, apparently he's uh, caught a big fish. So I'm just coming down the uh, track, Stamford Res. Um, usually, if I'm gonna video or photograph a fish from Stamford, it's uh, a pike, but on this occasion, it's one of the rare big carp. So, uh, right, let's uh, see what swim he's in. And, uh, take some footage. Yeah, bump the old track as you can see. Amazing.
Dave. Uh, when you come down here, I thought you'd have pajamas. Dave, on. what a fucking fish! <laughs> <laughs> you had a what? You had a one pound to have roach in it, Clark. Oh, Dave, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> what a fish! So what are you what are you had then, Clive? Uh, what? What have you had then? <laughs> Thirty nine twelve. Oh, Four man. ounces of a forty. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh dear. Oh. She's driving all the way over here, isn't he? Get stuck on that grass there. Morning Terry. Good morning. Right, where's your tackle? In my where's pants. Huh? In my pants. What's that Terry? Oh, it's laid here and it started raining, it stopped. And then it was about four o'clock and it absolutely hammered it down. Mm. I sat on that bloody well bedroom. <laughs> Oh, Teddy. Whoa. <laughs> what a fish. What's that you got there then, Clive? Bloody sack of spuds, I think. <laughs> God, he's bloody heavy, Dave. Yeah, that's what you've got to watch, ain't it? Shadows. Yeah, that's why I don't like it with the sunlight, you see. Well, it looks like you can take a few, few in the sun and a few out, so... Closing that's it, Even better than that, Dave. <laughs> Turn it around this way, it's like quad, so it's going to get some. Yeah, that's, that's better. So on, on its head. Cameras, Dave. Could do with a lead on it, couldn't it? Yeah, make sure there's no That's water right. on them That's lenses.
fingers out, a little bit lower, Clive. Your That's fingers it. out, making it look small, are they? <laughs> Is that, it almost looks like a, a surgeon scar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. That's better because otherwise you're facing slightly trees. Yeah, I've got that one. Fucking hell, what a fish, isn't it, Dave? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't throw it Same picture, but from this side. Is that better, Dave? Yeah. That's the light, that one. Yeah, okay, do another one. That's it, that's the one. That's the one, guy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the perfect, perfect light from that angle. The last pictures are the best ones. I'll take a couple of mine. Terry, get a couple more, Terry. They're actually coming out better with mine for some reason. Put your foot, put your. We'll try some in the dark, Dale. Tilt the fish slightly this way. That's it. Nine pounds, twelve ounce <laughs> carp for Clive Good. What a <laughs> fucking beast! Fucking hell! I've no idea what it come out like on the filming on this. been there. Boys, if you can get me a load all in one go. Martin's got loads, Steve. Oh, loads. Right. I've gone up and caught it, I don't know, so. Not that bad. <sighs> it's all got to get a pair of fishing waders this year. These will be the good pictures with the plastic on them. I'm sure I'll be coming here for a bit more. Got flash on there, Steve. No. Yeah. 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 Tilt his 
shed a little bit towards me, has it? Is it Dave? Oh dear. How big is that? 3912? 3912, Steve. Looking back on it. Mm. It's not so if it's up 38, wouldn't it? If it ain't, though, I'm not wrong, you know what I mean? Mm. Steve, look at it, Steve. Fucking hell, look at it. Like a dog, isn't it? Now, you see that there, Steve? You know that one I've seen down there with Gary Downs? Fucking just a big flat that bit there. Like that. Fucking hell. How big is that faster then? Oh, I think it's a 50, Steve. That's fucking blue. Well back from fucking napkin. You want a picture, just hold it and put it back, Clark. <laughs> now you'll give us all a laugh and fall backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you got chuck him in, <laughs> Some 60 pounds look like. Get that mat out of the way there. Get that mat out of the way, Steve. You want to walk a little bit closer to me? Well, you had a job holding that one of yours in your tail. Mm. I had to pick it up, put it in my arms. <laughs> 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 it's a fish, isn't it? Yeah, we had to pick it up and put it in my arms. Off soaking now. I'll just get it again, Clive. <laughs> uh, back at Stanford, had a, a, a second 18 and a half of the season so far, as usual. As usual, I, forget, I keep forgetting I've got a camcorder with me. So I didn't record the last one, but get your teeth off there. <laughs> now lovely nice clean fish. 18 and a half pounds, Stanford Res Fish, one the poles haven't eaten. Uh, caught over a, a bed of chopped up mackerels and sardines, seems to do the trick. Oh, well, back she goes. <laughs> Go on, I lost him. Don't matter. Well, back at Stanford again. So far this season, I've had a couple of 18 and a halfs, 17s, 16s, 15s. Uh, I think the Polish have killed a few fish, but there's a few fish showing up. Um, we're a bit concerned about how many 20s are left, but I just had a 22 and a half. Fantastic fish. Early in the season, still. Should be 24, 25, but still fantastic fish. I'm just going to take some photos and. Uh,
She is 22 pounds, 8 amps, Stanford Res Pike. That's a shot, isn't it? <laughs> Time to put the old girl back. I've sacked her up for a little bit just so she can, uh, so she can uh, isn't she gorgeous? So she can get her breath back. Isn't that lovely, 22 pound eight ounce of beautiful pike. Well, it's the 26th of December 2008, Boxing Day, Uncle Clive, got a 23 pound 8 ounce pike, and at the moment we don't recognise it, seems to be a new fish, a fabulous fish, extremely long. Look at that, it's a huge, huge fish. Oh, you know, do you? It was about the same size, wasn't it, Clive? 23. Big fish, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that one. Look at that one. 26 easy. Look what that is there. Just like so scrapped it, look. It's That's another thing, pike, that is, Clive. Another pike. Another pike, isn't it? What would a pike do doing grabbing that? It's not always bigger ones, though, is it? I don't want it just when they're just like um, territorial, isn't it? Ter when they go for the territory, I reckon. Don't matter how big they are. That look at that. Fish, that it's hollow though, isn't it? Oh, look at that. There they are. That's quite broad right, by the, right, by, right down to the tail, isn't it? It's 
a fantastic fish. Thanks, Steve, eh? oh, he's tri probably switched it off. What do That's it. That is awesome. Just press that slot yeah, again, it focuses. Yeah, that's going to that's gonna go massive, that thing is. Go back a little bit if you can't get it in, Steve. Get, get in, there's loads, loads of room in it, Tom. Business end. That's a nice fish, isn't it, Steve? That is. Mm. That was trout reservoir fish, Steve. That'd be a really good 30, wouldn't it? Yeah. 30, that'd be, wouldn't it? Chris had any more? No, he ain't been out. You to do that? I doubt it. I don't think there's many otters come through here, to be honest. Just every, every now and then. Perfect light conditions for photos, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, you're probably better off uh, standing this side of it. <laughs> what? Oh, come on, this side. You gonna give it any food, Clive? Dave? Yeah, look look at that. What's that, Steve? There, look. Somebody, somebody's definitely had it, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, probably not. They're probably fucking filming that stab at it. Come on, that's filming. Oh. You're filming? Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, come in the picture. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Oh, me! Hold it! No! <laughs> I can't! Oh! oh. Oh, it's a fish! Oh, ow! <laughs> it is! What's that? Yeah, I'll hold it up, Dave, and... Uh... OK, you can come in, no problem. Tilt his back towards me, Dave. That's it. I think it's a 330 degree. No, 360 degree. <laughs> yeah, come in the picture. We don't often have people passing by. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> if you kneel down. Yeah, yeah kneel down. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh, the holes. That's his sensors, that is. For what? Just for detecting prey. Did you see that? These are holes. That's it, Dave. Okay. Oh. Nineteen four. Do you want me to pick him up? Or? Yeah. Here's Chris at Stanford Res, uh, back end of December, two thousand and eight. Chris has had a fish, uh, nineteen pounds four ounces on a, a live bait, a carp about about eight nine ounces, and it's just the most gorgeous fish. It's a new fish, young, very young fish. And hopefully this will go 20 next year, or maybe even the back end of this year. He's getting back there, mate. Yeah. Nice oh, and quick. Just sort of hold it. Yeah, I'll pick, hold them up to the camera. We'll release them put with the camera in mind. I've got a take, Chris. There we go. Lean back. Morning, hooked into a good fish. Played it for a I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, it seemed like quite a big fish and it come off and then a short while ago I had a, a 19 pound 10 ounce pike um, I'm going to show it to you now, I had it on a Paternoster mackerel, fished about 150 yards out so here we go Stanford 
fish, that'll be 20 pounds next year. Isn't that beauty. Isn't that beauty. Lovely fish, immaculate condition, and they're beautiful. In the Poltec swim at Stanford Res, I've just had the most immaculate 17 pound 4 ounce pike. Um, it's a beautiful day, it's the back end of uh, February 2009. It's probably 12 13 degrees, and we've just had two months of like iced over, freezing cold weather, sub zero temperatures, and it's a real pleasure to get back out. But anyway, I'll show you this fish. It's just fantastic. It took a bait at about half past one in the afternoon on a Pat Noster mackerel, fished about 30 yards out. Uh, isn't that lovely? Oh, don't worry, I've got an unlucky mat here. Isn't that just fantastic fish? Absolutely immaculate. I don't think that's been caught too many times before. It's obviously a very healthy fish, been feeding well. Right. Lovely. Another day to catch it. Well, Stanford again. Um, I'm in a Poltax swim, and it's as you can see, it's just getting dark. And I've had one run all day, but it's the right run. I've just had a, a new fish for me, and it's a 21 pounds, so smidging over 21 pounds, and I'm absolutely delighted with this a beautiful young fish. Look at that! Look at that for a fish. Beast in it. Hey, look at that. Fantastic fish. Another Stanford fish. Bites of dust. 21 pounds. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what a cracker. Yes. Delighted with that. Fat as a pig. Fat as a pig. Well, back at Stanford again. It's the last day of February 2009. Um, fishing the first swim past the gate in the neck, the narrow end of the race. Just had two jack pike and a smidgen, one just smidgen under 17 pounds, 16, 14 to be precise. One of the young fish coming up, the 20s of the future, and it's Again, an immaculate fish, best time of year to catch them. Thank yesterday, they seem to have come on the feed a little bit today. So you never know, might get another one a bit later. Took a, a whole mackerel presented on a paternoster. 
Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just a peach of a fish? Okay. Nicely proportioned. Definitely one for the future, that one. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be lifting them up for the camera in a couple of years' time, at over 20 pounds, maybe even next year. Another Stanford fish bites of dust. Got a lens cap on here. It's on. Maybe when I ask over tip. <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful carp day. That's a big. Yeah. <laughs> I'm to a big one. It's a rare fish that is. It's April 15th, 2009. First carp of the year. Although I did get a take off one last week, a green. I was pleased with that call. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's a broad fish. Yeah. It's got a 47 pound 4 ounce mirror carp. Personal best, fair to say. <coughs> Put it about 250 yards out, boating it out on a double 20 mil boilie. Here's Clive's 47 pounds, 4 ounce. Just press that fully down. Stanford. That button there, just press it Mirror fully down. You see a red bar come up. Don't Absolute beast of a fish. Well, Probably one of the biggest natural fish from this part of the Midlands. <laughs> Look at the size of that. How do you zoom in, Clive? I don't get No, just coming close, Jeff. It's humongous. That is massive, isn't it, Jeff? Gigantic thing, isn't it? It's on a three-pound roach, isn't it? It's the biggest carp I'm going to catch. <laughs> I don't need anything bigger than that. Look at the size of that. Hard to imagine the record's 90, 91, isn't it? There's tiddler Clive, that is. <laughs> Pick the hook, guys. It's all that there. <laughs> all down to Keith Williams. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I got my arse, have you? <laughs> What's the date today? Oh, I don't know. Feels like my birthday. And April 1st. <laughs> it's the water. That looks monstrous climb. <laughs> Yeah, lovely that is doors. Tilt his head just a fraction of doors, mate. That's it. Not quite so much. That's it. Okay then Dave. Got back my deep beauty. Definitely not that fish, Gaz. That fish we've seen down there. Definitely ain't that fish. Hold on, Clyde. What can I say? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Better than sex, eh, Clyde? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's he saying? <laughs> what are you saying? Better than sex. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't know that. That's what you got there, Jeff. That one. You've got another extra, you could know, then.